Hi guys, Them two words again, we're back. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in, a, in a different spot right now. I'm visiting friends in a, another part of China um, for a week. So um, I might have a bit of difficulty getting the last three um, you are a non um, up on BitChute before I, before I go back. I will try, I've got 10 episodes uploaded. Harry, you tell me that number five, I, I made a boo-boo. Yeah, yeah you, you even got a comment on, uh, someone commented on the uh, comments on BitChute, and they said, hey, mate, you made a mistake. And I just I personally sent you a message about that, but. Yeah, well, I actually downloaded what was, what was said was number five, and I, I was unable to watch it at the time, so I uploaded it. I've now re-downloaded the correct number five, but I can't delete and replace. So we're going to end up with episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then, and then 5. All right. It won't, it, it won't screw up anybody's viewing pleasure, um, mm -hmm. but, yeah, it's one of them things. And the other thing that, uh, that I heard, I'm, I'm not, if anybody out there can back me up on this or, or let me know if it's true, but I've heard that Big Shoot is now banned in Denmark. Mm. Um, and of course, if that is the case, then all people have to do is, if they, you know, if you're in Denmark, is just change your location. Move to, move to Singapore. Or, yeah, or anywhere. Just, just make a move. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how these things work. And, and also, you know, I don't know if you've ever um, been in a situation where you, 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 you clicked on a YouTube video and it said, oh, um, due to copyright, it's banned in your country. Mm -hmm. I've had that a few times. You just yeah. change the location on the VPN and, and, and you can watch it. It's no problem. So, um, again, links, link will be, uh, will be below, as usual, 30% off um, with the promo code. Um, so we've been um, going through these You Are Anon videos. Um, what are your thoughts, Harry? I know what you said to me yesterday. You want to share it with our wonderful subs? Well, I don't, I've, I've, I've told you a lot of things about these videos, so maybe you want to refresh my memory about what I what remember. Well, you mentioned something about a ballpark. Oh, yeah. Well, he, he hits it almost out of the park. Uh, I mean... I'm saying almost a home run. He's, I mean, he's probably closer to having the most truth on uh, 10 videos altogether than most people would put together in 100 videos. I, I could write down on the back of a postage stamp what I disagree with. Yeah, yeah, very, yeah very few things. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think he just misses the one thing that you and I have touched on, and, and that is that the presence of one or maybe more than one copy of where we're at versus where the original was. Other than that, he covers every base from, from a political, a religious, uh, a scientific, uh, and then in all, where all the lies lie in between all of those uh, areas. And the interesting thing that, that he said was what you and I were talking about, that the original is silicon. Mm -hmm. and this copy is carbon and, and and that hit me when i was in the car yesterday for nine hours i was thinking about all this stuff as you do and um and i thought when you look at the phrase carbon copy you always think you're 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 taking a copy of well you are you're, you're taking a, a, a carbon copy right a car, a copy if you change the intonation it's a carbon Copy. copy yeah not a carbon copy a carbon, carbon copy. copy so you're copying the original in in a carbon form mm -hmm. doesn't mean that the original was carbon because no. you're taking a carbon copy mm -hmm. truth yeah. in plain sight again, again, again. and you're right it's it's uh, almost misinformation in that they're telling you it, it was always understood that carbon copy meant it's about the same as the original but in this case if you don't know that you were not carbon based in the original you're fine with it but now well, we're starting to say hey what was i made of in another realm yeah it matters <laughs> yeah well well this goes into um 
you know, it, it's more about deception than than lies. You know what I mean? It's 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 hidden in plain sight because it's deceiving because you're you're led it, it down one path when in reality you should either be going down the other one or going straight down the middle. Well, it's the indoctrination, that slow cooking process where you're boiling like that frog and you never know it because no. you you barely know that the water is hot enough to, to feel good and they're turning it up ever so slowly to the point where you never know what happened and your life's over now and it's too late. And that's where, uh, it, that's where uh, our dull senses kick in. We never realize that something's wrong and it's till, until it's too late. It was a biblical quote that he um, included in one of his um, episodes. I forget which one it was, and I'm probably going to bastardize the, the the whole quote. But it's a, it, again, it's a truth drop from the from the, the Bible, um, and it's something like, "Greater is He who is in you than He who is in this world or in the world." So, in other words, you in here is greater than you as in your physical your car yeah so with that in mind guys and 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 with thinking along these um along these lines about the copy um and about the silicon carbon i'm i'm gonna throw up a, a powerpoint that i made a couple of years ago um it was around the time that i was i used to watch roger from Mud's fossil university quite a lot and um he just intrigued me and there was some stuff that I've seen here in this town that I am now. And I took some photos with my crappy, now dead um, phone. And I made this little PPT. So it's not long. I want to share it with you. And um, comments. We want we want to, want to know what you think. So I called it the Rocky Horror. As crazy as crazy gets. So let's have a look. We're going to take a look at a piece of beef. Pay attention to the white lines of fat, which we know as marbling. Okay? Just a normal piece of beef with the white fat running through it. Now, I, I call this a new rally. I remember I made this two years ago at least. There's been a lot of new evidence coming out that rocks are not what we have been taught they are. So we're going to have a look at what some researchers are saying and why. And this included um, Roger from um, Mud Fossil. So this is in a, a park where there's a lake um, quite close to um, where I am right now. And all the rocks are the same. They're the same color um, as if they're all pieces of one original um, rock or, or, or whatever. So, just normal rocks. All right, now look at that. Look at all those white stripes. Now, forget what the geologists out there and, and that are going to tell us. Let's drop all that for a minute and look at it with a fresh pair of eyes. Uh, let's look a little bit closer. This looks like marbling to me. It looks a lot like yeah. that steak in the first uh, slide. Sorry? It looks a lot like that steak in the slide. Well, oh, yeah, let's go back to the to the beef mm -hmm. and, and do a comparison. Yeah. Um, so it might be a long shot, but the similarities between the marbling on the beef and the white lines are easy enough to see if you have an open mind. But how can we explain this? Well, what you're looking at here is a hole through the rock. Pay attention to the sides of that hole. <clears throat> absolutely smooth so we've got these tubes running through them and yeah as i wrote here you know it's a, a phrase we use as smooth as a baby's bum and they really are they are there's you know they're not even as rough as a piece of um fine sandpaper they are totally and utterly smooth Hey, what, what, what would a geologist tell you that those holes well, are? Well, I don't know, Harry. I've got no idea. Water running through them. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. Erosion. Yeah. That's one that's um, 
open. It, it's like it's split through, you know, with, you, what you're looking at is half the hole there. Uh, that one's full of soil. There it is again. Again, look at the marbling, look at the white marbling. But these holes blew me away. So all of the rocks at this place are the same. They're the same color, same uh, shade, and they all have the same white marbling. So is it easy to assume that at one time these rocks, quote unquote, were all part of one larger thing? But what? And what is the significance of those tubes? When you buy a piece of meat, the butcher has already moved any pipe that might have been running through the meat. It's not exactly appetizing, is it? That's, you don't normally, you know, if you go and buy a cut of meat in the supermarket, you don't, um, you know, all this, all this has been removed. So, uh, artery. These evidence of arteries, perfectly smooth. Just asking the question, guys. I mean, again, look at that. You know, I mean, it's oval. So it's not even like it, it, it could have been drilled because uh, you can't drill an oval hole. Um, and, you know, it's not formed by water, clearly. Uh, this, this whole place, all these rocks are surrounded by water. So what is, what are we looking at? Are they actually lumps of fossilized meat? Did they once belong to a living, breathing being? We could have caused, a, a, what could have caused the being to become fossilized in this way? Let's assume it was fossilized in one piece and the rocks were simply broken body parts. And then we have this reference in Genesis 19, Lot's wife gets turned into a pillar of salt when she looks back towards Sodom. The truth is, that the original Hebrew word has a quote-unquote unknown origin. A pillar of salt or rock is um, the translation. So only a, a short one there, guys. But what are your thoughts? I mean, I know Roger from Mud Fossil has had some of this stuff um, DNA tested, and, um, and uh, he asserts that it was all once... Um, living beings but when we look at the the bigger the bigger picture that we've been talking about harry um you know if that, that could have happened in the original realm yeah would have just been part of the hard drive that was that was copied over here or did it happen here as part of the genesis uh, jeremiah 4 verse 23 cataclysm repeated in uh, genesis 1 2. we don't know is it that important mm -hmm. Yeah, in a way, especially when, um, oh, my God, I forgot her name. I meant to look her up. Something Alice. Brilliant. She did a, 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 a recently did a two-hour um, video on um, organic, you know, the, the, the organic and inorganic. And she asserts that there is nothing in this realm that was ever inorganic. It might be inorganic now. Yeah. But it... it, it, it something happened to change it from being you're right there bro you froze or you fall asleep was it boring you no no you're the one that froze <laughs> okay so we both froze so what do you think bro what are your thoughts well um yeah i think when we when we look at the evidence that were shown are you there nice but well, if we look at the evidence that we're looking at now, um, we have to come to the conclusion that originally, the original version was made. Right. Sorry about that. It seemed to um, crash on me for a minute. Yeah, well, it's, it, I was still showing up, so maybe that recording didn't, uh, didn't get messed up at all. Okay. All right. So, yeah, what are your thoughts? So the thoughts are, I'm looking at the, at the evidence that we're 
observing, the original had to have been a different version of this copy. And uh, I, I believe that the, no, excuse me for using that bad word, the B word, uh, the, the, uh, the structure that we were made of is not carbon, but instead it's gonna be a crystal uh, substance. Um, and a lot of times when we, when we look at uh, texts and we, and we look at the connotation of, of a, the serpent, uh, like Satan or whatever, uh, it talks about a, a, a structure that is shimmering and that's what gives it the appearance of like the jinn, right? The fiery serpent. Could it be that they were made out of that uh, other material as well? And that, that kind of identification is being pro processed to the next realm? Well, yeah. I mean, when we, when we go back to our car analogy, that our body is a car and our soul or spirit, whatever you want to call it, is the driver. Um, you know... In, in, in that realm, we were inhabiting a different, we were driving a different different type of car. Yeah. You know, if you look at it in that. Even the word car in carbon, right? Yeah. Oh, good call. The carbone. Car, yeah. Oh, carbone. Oh, <laughs> wow. I like your thinking. The bone car, right? Wow. You blow me away sometimes, bro. Well, when you, when you think about it, we know that this whole realm, you know, it's 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 called the the, the six 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 realm, right? Mm -hmm. And you've got the the car the carbon realm being six atoms, uh, six what is it? Six neutrons, six electrons, and protons, neutron, electron. That's right, six of each. Um, so that is the carbon realm, and we are made of carbon. Um, everything. All living creatures, trees, and it's all carbon, carbon-based life forms. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we, we're going to do another uh, on our next podcast, guys. We're going to be talking about the triple six mark of the beast because it's not what it's all bullshit, fear mongering, fear porn. The mark, the, and we've said this ad nauseum: the mark of the beast you can't buy and sell without is simply currency is all it is doesn't say you can't buy sell or trade does it it just says you no. can't buy or sell and yeah. what do you need to buy or sell so barter, ultimately barter barter is going to be the way that people who don't take the mark of the beast are going to be able to still function yeah 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 I mean, we, we, we've already talked about how what we call money, currency, is just a battery. It's just another form of energy. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. um, but people are, are so hung up on this, oh, this is the mark of the beast. And the, no, no, it's not. Currency is the mark of the beast. We've proven it. Um, we're going to – I've got all my notes at home, so I'm, I'm, I'm away from home for a week. So when I get back, um, I'll sit down with Harry and we'll go through it. And we'll do a podcast. I'm going to take you all the way back to what we know as 1665, which was really 665. Um, the Great Plague of London, the uh, the Great Fire of London that started in, in a bakery in Pudding Lane. <sighs> Such coincidence. Um, in 1666 or 666, um, the beginning of the SESQV Trust, how it all worked and so on and so forth. We've even got the, the names of the five people um, who created this SQV Trust. I forget their names, but the first one starts with a C, the second one starts with an A, the third one starts with a B, another one starts with an A, and the last one starts with an L. So if you take those five letters and spell out, spell out as I just said, Mr. C, Mr. A, Mr. B, Mr. A, Mr. L, um, and that is not the same as the one that begins with a K, by the way, and ends with an A-H. Yeah, that's the, that's the beginning of the trust system. And uh, we also know that uh, with the London fire and everyone following the Thames River and abandoning all their property, we also know what the Thames River was used for prior to the invention of the crapper, don't we? 
<laughs> the crowd. Yeah, and that is that is the uh, the alleged story that the toilet was um, invented by a, a Mr. Crapper, which is where the word comes from. Um, but yeah, that's what the Thames was used for prior to uh, prior to that. So yeah. essentially, those fleeing the fire, many escaped down the the, the Thames in their boats and never returned. So. Um, They've got seven years to reclaim their property, so we're told now. Right. Um, and if they didn't, then... In essence, the people who went down the Thames, they got flushed. They got flushed. Yeah, absolutely. So that was essentially the beginning of the legal um, beast system. Um, and, and as I say, we've got, I've got all the evidence, I've got all the notes and that um, at home. Um, so we'll, we'll do a podcast on that for you. Uh, when I get back, just to just to clear things up. Uh, just to touch back on the silicon-based reality versus the carbon, do you think possibly in the carbon copy, the the reason why all the people were turned to stone, like Medusa had the ability to turn people to stone, is because in the copy, it's easier to be petrified versus in the silicon um, realm you couldn't be well that 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 makes sense yeah that holds water and it also makes sense to me as to why all the free energy um that you know was clearly available um was gotten rid of in the carbon realm because it doesn't work well it works but it doesn't work as well yeah. as it does in the silicon realm yeah, yeah. You know, and then that URNON goes into that in great detail. Yeah, the, the silicon based crystals uh, attract a lot more uh, electricity than carbon does. Yeah. So who yeah. knows the percentage wise? Maybe, maybe we're 90% less efficient. So, you know, even, even our bodies can't process. That's why our, our bodies can only work at a certain uh, capacity. Yeah, and why our lifespans are, are so much shorter than they were in the uh, in the other in the original realm. So if we I, use if we use only ten percent of our brain, or maybe we use more. Hang on, Harry. I'm still at the door. Let me pause the recording. Hang on. Okay. Just pause the recording. Okay. I won't start recording again. Uh, right. And um, so, what was the same? Yeah, so that's why the um, the the free energy that we we, we all know existed um, was can because it doesn't work as well here as it does in the uh, yeah. in the other realm. So, so we only use ten percent of our brain at one time, and our our lifespan is about ten percent of what it used to be in uh, yeah. comparison to the biblical time. Uh, yeah. we live to if people used to live nine hundred years. And now we're only maxing out at 80 and 90. That's 10%. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I forget, I forget which episode number it is when that you are on talks about all this, um, uh, the computer circuit board um, idea, um, you know, computer circuit board cities. Can you remember which one it was? It was either three or four. I can't remember the numbering. Uh -huh. So it's early on in the uh, in the series, then. Yeah. But yes, yeah, strongly encourage you guys to go over and uh, and watch that on the um, on our BitChute channel. Just begins with you are on one episode one of thirteen, and and work your way through it. Yeah, he he does a pretty good job of uh, covering all of the intricacies of the types of capacitors, the types of uh, buildings, and how the arches and the columns and how they work, like magnet amplifiers. Um, you know, he takes his time and he goes through it and he explains it very well. Um, and that makes a lot of sense because that, that's the reason why uh, brick buildings became so popular is because they have that rust, that red dust in them that is very, very uh, conducive to uh, storing energy. Yeah. And, 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 and one, one final note before we close on this, if anybody watching this has got any idea who this you are a non guy is and how we can possibly get in touch with him we would love to hook up with this um, with this guy yeah definitely we'd like yeah. to just just have a chat just to see how our 
um, theory and his theory, how, how we, you know, this just seems to be that one thing that he's missing um, compared to what we're talking about, and that is that this is a, a copy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. yeah. And then, of course, uh, just to, to finish on my end, we, we all always want to hear uh, comments, uh, your thoughts on what we're sharing. And, uh, and again, we've talked about how in the future we want to do a, um, a show where we're going to open up uh, for requests on, uh, on questions uh, and then we'll, we'll pick maybe the first, the top 10 questions and we'll do a, a video on that. Yeah, and then the other thing that we could do is we could do a premiere. Um, we haven't done one yet, um, which means that we do a recording, then we put it out, but you and I would be in the chat and people could be throwing questions in the chat. Maybe that's something else we can um, we can do. But again, we've got to figure out the time because something like you're I'm 15 hours ahead of you. Um, I was I'm hoping to get together with um, Amory Uber. She's 12 hours. I'm 12 hours ahead of her, 15 hours ahead of you. Um, and, you know, if we do our normal time, let's say if I don't know my morning nine o'clock your evening six o'clock that's going to be like one o'clock in the morning in the UK so trying to gauge a, um, a time that, that, that we're going to get maximum out of it we'll have to put some thought into that but um, but yeah yeah as you say Harry let's um, let's have some comments below um, anything that you you guys want us to address or you want to talk about then um, let's 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 hear from you okay all right, well, today is my Sunday. You see, this is time travel, Harry. I know. It's, um, right now, it's nearly 2 o'clock in the afternoon um, on Sunday, and it's 11 o'clock Saturday night. So I'm talking to my past, and you're talking to your future yeah. as, we, as we actually do this. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We are time traveling. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we'll be back on my Wednesday, your Tuesday, as, as usual. Um, and we'll see you then. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. All Cheers, right. guys. Bye-bye.